false falana also told uh, the nigerian youth what next to do since after uh, president Muhammad buhari agreed on what uh, the uh, nigerian youth have requested for but yet to implement any of these uh, promises and uh, of course uh, why some of the protesters have gone back into their houses is just because they are waiting to see what the government will come out with but before then you know they say that uh, 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 come 2023 they need a lot of things to change and uh, they will have to start working more so that the youth can occupy most of the offices in nigeria and he was advising nigerian youth on what to do what is the next plan what is the next line of action to ensure that nigerian youths are in government and uh, more details i will bring to you remember that uh, false falano has uh, been at the investigative panel as well though he's not a member but has always been present at that panel to ensure justice and equity for all but yet we're yet to still get to the bottom of that so anytime it comes up we'll also bring you more reports on what has been happening regarding the investigation going on uh, pertaining to the Lekki massacre in lagos nigeria anyway guys i'll bring you more details of this shortly but before then please if you have not subscribed to this channel endeavor you hit the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to turn on your notification bell because you get notified anytime we drop a new video all right right here it says that uh, few weeks after the NSAS protest, singer, rapper, lawyer, and social activist for Larin Falano, pop popularly known as Faust, is of the opinion that Nigeria would never be the same again. Faust also noted that with the passion and unity exhibited by Nigerian youth in the past week, he was optimistic that the future of the country looked brighter. He said, I have never seen a Nigeria as united as what I saw during the protest. The youth were so united. However, the question for many people now is what next? I think it is work in progress. The struggle has by no means ended. Majority of the work lies in citizen education. People need to know their rights and what the constitution says. For some time, I have been informing my followers on social media about what the law says about specific issues, but I decided to commit my resources and efforts into making it a full-fledged show when i realized that many people were unaware of certain things the multi-award winner also averred that hoodlums who disrupted the protest did that because they did not know better he said the words hoodlums and thugs were thrown around a lot recently a hoodlum is an average young man like me who does not know better nobody was born or destined to be a hoodlum they just need more education to let them know they don't have to be used by politicians to wreak havoc. Falls also enjoined youth to focus on the next election cycle in 2023 to make substantial inputs to the political process. As we are approaching 2023, it is important for us to start getting ready. It should be a, a big year for our future. It is important to start getting a permanent voter's card. A lot of people don't understand certain things like the process of recalling an elected official. For example, if somebody who is presenting, representing you in the National Assembly is not doing what the constituents want, you have the power to remove him. The power of the people is greater than the people in power. We need to work more closely with one another. He said, deplore, deploring the religious and tribal colorations that we added to the protest, false stated, we need to discard all the religious and tribal sentiments that have been thrown around recently. They are just tactics by people trying to tear us apart. We need to keep the energy going, stay alert and register to vote. We need more intelligent people in government. Those past few weeks have shown us that the people we have in power are very shallow. They are just there to embezzle money. We need to know. We need people who know what they are there to serve us and not for them to be worshipped. And of course, some of the reactions that he got, some people say, I hate this country, some useless element benefiting from the government. We never support the truth. What a shame. 
if we all benefit as well is it a crime after all we all voted for change what have we achieved and another said point of correction southern youth not uh, uh not nigerian youth i think that is a, a very uh, a religious comment and uh, another said see advice is baseless you can never be a, you can never be positive for once because this person said it is the protest is about the southern youth and not about the nigerian youth and i think that is one thing that should be corrected among the nigerian youth they should come together and understand that this protest is neither for the south nor for the east nor for the west it is for nigeria i wonder why most of the northern guys keep you know fighting against this ensas protest most of the things happening in nigeria today they are the major sufferer of these things they go through a lot a lot of their villages have been taken over by bandits insurgencies in so many areas they cannot live in peace they live in fear and aside that they are being uh, oppressed in so many ways Poverty rate in that region is the highest. So I wonder what exactly they want. It is not about religion. I remembered uh, a comment that somebody made. The person said that in the uh, uh, Quran, in Islam, that it is believed that you must not fight against your brother, whether he is right or he is wrong. And that is what they are getting wrong. This is government. And, uh, you know, most of them that are trying to believe that, okay, this, this government favors them just because of religious belief. Many of them believe, oh, because the president is a Muslim and is from that region, then they have to support him, come what may. No, if somebody is doing wrongly, the person is not doing well, let everybody put hands together and ensure such people are kicked out of government. It will be for the betterment of every Nigerian. But I don't see any reason why they have to make this thing a religious affair and also make it a tribalistic affair. Because so many times when Nigerians speak, they are always of the opinion that because they want to get Buhari out of office because it's from the north. I believe it is not about that. And what they are thinking, I don't think people from the south even reason in that direction they just believe that well if a person that is supposed to do well is not doing well then it should be taken out of office it is only in nigeria that will try to tribalize everything and try to make everything look like a, 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 it is a cultural thing or something we have to hit the nail on the head and look at the point wherever we have gone wrong we have to check it again and go back to the drawing board and ensure that it is corrected irrespective of whoever is there but whatever the case may be, well, I just hope that Nigeria becomes a better place for everyone to stay. So people, I don't know what you have to say about this. Don't forget to drop your comment and also give this video a thumbs up. Do have a pleasant time. Bye for now.